Welcome back to the Trace YouTube channel. Today's class we'll be learning how to make this multi-layered exaggerated sleeve. It's a very simple tutorial. It is beginner friendly and the sleeve is really cute. If this is where you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So there are several ways you can actually make this sleeve, but I'm going to try as much as possible to simplify this sleeve for us. Okay, so to make this, I have my basic sleeve ready. You don't have to put it on foot like this, but because I already have this, so I'm going to work with it. You don't know how to draft your basic sleeve, and you want to check that out on the channel. We already have a detailed tutorial on how to do that. So this sleeve is actually in five layers, as you can see. We have one, two, three, four, five, and then we're also going to be using contrasting colors of fabric so that the layers can be pronounced. So now we're going to be replicating these layers on our pattern before we move to cut it directly on our fabric. So the first one I'm going to be working with is the first layer. Okay. So now this is entirely dependent on you and how much how long you want the first one to be so for me i want it to be around the cap side area so from my sleeve head which is the upper part here i'm going to measure around four to five inches for the first sleeve so here i'm going to measure around five inches or four and a half okay for the first sleeve you can do more than that if that is what you want so now if you notice you notice that the first sleeve goes from that point and it stops around this area so which is around here it doesn't get to the underarm area so here now you can decide to just make sure what you have on your arm or, or divide it by two or you can just highball it like i have done here so now for my first sleeve, i'm going to be connecting from that point so remember I did four inches here, but if you want it slower, you can go as low as five or six inches. So let's say I want to change this to five inches. I'm going to be connecting from that five inches to this point. And this is going to be the first portion for my sleeve. So now remember we said we have five layers, so it means you are left with four. So to create my four layers, I'm going to measure what I have left. And by the way, this is a three-quarter sleeve. So the length of this sleeve is around 16 inches. That's the total length of this sleeve. So now what I have left here is 11 inches. I'm going to be dividing that by four. So now I'll first of all fold this into two. And that's going to be five and a half. And then I'll further divide each of these boxes, each of these into two so that i'll have four equal parts because i want them to be equal you don't have to make it equal like i'm doing if you have any particular pattern that you want to follow you, you can follow it so now on the upper part this is the center fold of the sleeve i have it like this so now the next thing is to start connecting it to this side in a diagonal form. you can see that this design is actually in a diagonal form you can see how the sleeves are just coming diagonally like that so now for the second one also it's around the underarm area which is around here so from where i mark the first one i'm just going to go down by around two inches which is here and then i'm going to connect it to where the second layer is which is here okay so now i have one two this is for my second layer this is the second one so now for the third one remember i have marked it here and then i'm going to connect it also so the third one i'm going to connect it to exact underarm area which is here so from there now sorry i hope you can see what i'm doing i'm connecting the second one to the exact underarm area which is here so from there i'm going to draw another diagonal line and i'll call this three so i have number one number two number three now for the number four i don't want this sleeve to actually extend beyond my underarm area but if you don't mind this you can just make maybe measure one inch or one and a half inches below this like this and then connect it like this if that is what you want to do you can just do it like that so now from this underarm here i'm measuring one and a half inches downwards and then i'm going to connect it like this okay 
and then for the last one which is here so i'll mark, label this number four and then the number five also from the hem here i'm going to connect it to that point again okay so you can actually connect everything to the underarm area so that all your sleeve stops around the underarm area which is what i want to do initially so if i'm connecting like that what it means is that instead of it to the number four to go like like this let me change the color of my marker so instead for the number four to just go like that it will come to where number three stops which is exactly on my underarm area so i'll have my number four looking like this and then the same thing is going to happen to number five okay so if this is what you want to do you can go ahead with it so i think i'll just be going with what i have here i hope i'm not confused so now to replicate this on my fabric i'm going to be doing it in bits but first i'll cut off the excess that i have here because it's no longer part of my pattern okay so now this is what my pattern is looking like and then i'll be cutting this in bits to cut out to on my fabric so now the first one i'll be cutting now is number five and for the number five i'll be using this fabric okay i'll be using this fabric and also this plain fabric so i'll use this the, the pattern fabric to cut out my number five number three and number one then i'll use the plain fabric for number two and four so the first pattern i'm going to be cutting out now is our number five and to do this i'm going to be putting this fabric on fold by two like this then after putting it on fold by two i'm going to place this pattern on it so we are going to be doing this for it to have that strong effect that you want so you may decide to add a gum stay or paper stay or something just to strengthen it and give it structure okay but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm not going to be adding this and then also if you are going to be making this for your client you need to cut that lining for each of them so that by the time you had your stay to it you'll be able to turn it out neatly okay but for this i'm not cutting out a lining for this because this is just for illustration purpose and this video is actually requested so now i'm cutting this out now and this is my number five okay so i'm going to keep this fabric aside now and then work on number four so now to work on number four i'll simply place my pattern since i've cut off my number five now i'll go over now and cut number four pattern okay so now i'm left with just number four i'll keep this number five aside then bring in my plain fabric remember i'm using the plain fabric for two and four so i'll place my plain fabric like this and then place the pattern on it and cut out number four so after cutting out number four I'll go ahead and trim off what I have there now on my pattern and cut number three. So I'm sure we get what I'm trying to do. Okay, so I'll arrange this well now, place the pattern on it, and then before you cut out your pattern, you may want to cut your lining or you just use your main pattern to cut it out when you are ready. Okay so this is me cutting this on my fabric okay so number four is half now i'm going to keep it aside also and then i'll go ahead and cut out the pattern for number four so now i'll bring in my pattern fabric again and cut out number three so we can see what i'm doing that's what i'm going to do till i get to number one so number three is cut out now i'll place it aside now and then shape off that number three pattern and then i'll go ahead and cut out my number two so i've also cut out number two now i remove it and then i'll be left with just number one Okay, so for number one now, I'm just going to indicate this 
as the upper part of number one so for number one you notice it has more volume compared to what we have on the rest of them so i'll be using slash and spread method to introduce more volume to this okay so like i said i just want to introduce more volume you can actually cut it like this but i want to introduce more volume for the first one so now to do this i'm going to draw my style line so i can draw just one style line and open it up you can just do two or three depending on what you want so you can see i'm drawing it from the sharp v points all the way to the upper part because i'm going to be running the placing on the upper part so after drawing this point now i'm going to cut it but not completely just to the tip so i'm cutting to the tip and then I'm going to spread it. So you can actually spread it directly on your fabric, or you can spread on a fresh pattern with your heart. So if I'm going to spread this on a fresh pattern, I'm just going to place this like this now, and then I'm going to spread it out. Okay. So this is me spreading it out. You can actually hold this with a masking tape. So after spreading it. Okay, so you can see how I'm spreading it. I'm just going to connect my lines together like this. So you don't have to spread it this much. You can spread it more or less, depending on what you want. So now I'm going to cut this out. So I'll be cutting this on my pattern fabric. Now remember the first one will be cut on pattern also. So now I'll be cutting this on my pattern fabric. So I just place this on my fabric now and then I cut it off. So this is what I have. So now I'm going to bring in all my fabrics and arrange them so that we can see what we have. So this is the longest part, which is number five. And then I'll bring the next one, which is number four, like this. So before you start arranging this, you must have ironed your interfacing and then line them and iron it neatly before you start doing this okay so after that now i'll bring in the number three and then place it on this also and then the second one will be placed on it remember the second one does not get to the end point of the sleeve so it stops around here and then for the first one you can use this as if you have your actual pattern you can just place it as a guess so this is my actual pattern before slash and spread so now it means this stop stops around here so i'm just going to hold a pin here and then here okay so if i bring in the one i slash and spread on it means i'm going to be starting placing the tip here and then on the other side also i'll place the second tip here sorry this is the part that I spread okay so this narrow part by the time I gather it is going to become pointed again so this is the part that I spread on so that's what I'm going to be gathering so here the first one is going to be around here and the second one is going to be around here so now I'm going to gather all these excess that I have to fit into this small space so like I said this is actually not compulsory but I just want to introduce that fullness there. So I'll go and gather this now and then bring it back to show us what we have. Okay, so now I've gathered it and I've sewn it. So you can see what this is looking like. So this last, this first one, the upper part here, you can also do it like this in form of a gather form or you can do it like a pointy sleeve, okay? Wherever you have something on the upper parts here pointed before you get to the armhole i also have something like that on the channel already there are several ways you can actually do this but i think i like this and i'm going to be maintaining this okay so if you want me to do several ways you can also create this upper part let me know in the comment section so this is what we have here now and then on the honda arm area remember for our pattern we extended this so assuming we connected everything to the underarm we're just going to sew it around to the armhole and we won't need to close it but because of that little extension that i created 
oil drops in the pattern so i just closed it up to that extension so you just wait now and close it at that extension area then i'll take it to the mannequin so that we'll see what this is looking like okay so this is what our sleeve is looking like you can see the layers from the first one to the fifth one and you can see that using contrasting fabric will just bring us the layers more so this is very simple to make as we have seen and it is really beautiful i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me you can also decide to embellish this upper part with trimmings whatever it is you want if you have see how beautiful it is looking i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye